Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Here on FIFA 19, Ultimate Team, uh, RTG episode 269 today. And we do need to carry on in the weekend league. I think the last couple of episodes, we've pushed ourselves up to 11 wins and only only got two losses. So uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, it's, it's, we're going to push on today and, uh, and at least get up to like goal two. Uh, that's where I want to be at by the end of this episode. Uh, latest addition to the squad obviously is Bernardo Silva. This guy right here. Uh, eight, uh, eight contributions in nine games and he does come off either at half time or in the middle of the second half. So he's not a full 90 minute player, which I don't know. He might be a bit expensive to be someone like that. So whether or not we'll keep him forever, uh, I don't actually know. But 11 wins, two losses. We can continue our journey in the weekend league. Um, and uh, this is the first team I come up against in this little run. He's got a nice squad. He's got a, a 93 Eusebio, which I'm so jealous of. He's got prime moment Socrates. He's got a 96 Red Ericsson, uh, who I know, like, since moving away from... or. Oh, I say moving away from the header meta. I still score a fair amount of headers on this game. But moving away from that to more like smaller technical dribbler players. This Ericsson actually now uh, intrigues me. He now interests me as a player that I would absolutely love to use. Because if you think about how much I'm enjoying Bernardo Silva. As he gets himself a goal right there. What a strike that is. Um, Ericsson is a very similar player to that. Probably... Yeah, very similar in terms of actual defensive ability as well. And has the four-star skill and a five-star weak foot as opposed to Bernardo's uh, three-star. So, I score a banger from the outside the box with 96 Van Dyke, And I'm like, how has that happened? I didn't ever expect that to, to go in. But we watched the replay and I, I just... I thunderstruck it. It was a, a beautiful goal from the Dutchman. And we are 2-1 up at halftime. In what was a, a pretty difficult game. I'm not going to lie. This one tested me. Uh, we whip it towards the back post. And Ronaldinho is actually able to rise higher than my opponents. I think he's got a... Um, a red Lala. I'm not sure which one he's got, but he probably doesn't sort of match up to... You need like a Tots right back at the moment. That's why Danny DaCosta is so amazing for us. Uh, I wasn't able to make that one stick. You know, I, uh, lots of defensive mi mishaps there for me. Allow my opponent to get back into the game again. Uh, and as we work our way down this edge and try to whip another one into the back stick, I actually get completely wiped out by this guy's Virgil van Dijk, giving me a penalty, and we restore that two-goal lead, which is pretty necessary uh, because genuinely, being such a a difficult match. Uh, I would not feel comfortable. I wasn't even comfortable with a two-goal lead. Um, but then right towards, uh, I guess at this stage of the game, he'd, he'd paused that he was ready to quit. So I just stuck another goal in in case he'd just like gone to answer the front door or something and he was going to come back and play. Uh, but no, um, as soon as the ball went out of play, as soon as I got that goal, he did decide to rage quit and that pushes us up to 12 wins. Next opponent then, another solid squad, another Socrates. Uh, and this time, oh, that is one of the first times I've ever really noticed that Fabinho dynamic image. That is insane. That's a really, really nice image there. We've got the Champions League as well. Like, I, I imagine Van Dyke's is very similar. And uh, Van Dyke must be very nearly the, near the same rating as his team of the year, right? With that road to the final. Because Liverpool literally made it all the way. Uh, speaking of Van Dyke, we do go 1-0 up with a corner header from him. Um that's what I mean. Like, I am moving away from the header meta. Like, I'm not just... Like, my game plan now is not run out wide with Ronaldinho, El Tornado, cross it in. Uh, my game plan is to try and be, like, pass the ball nicely. But if I am in a situation when the ball goes out wide and I know that I've got someone that can head the ball at the back stick, I'll make it happen if it's in the weekend league. Uh, but normally, I want to score goals like that. I want to be creating better opportunities. Maybe trying to play a bit of a, a better brand of football rather than just mechanic ball as I do, like... Four Lacroquettas in a row there and then end up scoring from it. Oh, God. I might be the most terrible person ever. Um, maybe I am just completely abusing mechanics still. But, uh, oh, God. I score a header. All right. I'm just going to ignore what I've just said. Uh, I'm not playing a beautiful brand of football. Uh, no, I, I, I kind of try. But, like, you know, we, we do a rainbow flick there. But then it ends up being a headed goal. So, you can't get away from it. Um, I think there's volleys. 
a stupid OP. Headers are a crazy OP. First time shots are mega OP. La Croquette is a mega OP. But you need to use them in order to, to win. Or at least I do anyway. Someone of my skill level. Maybe someone that's really, really good at the game. Um, you know, like R9 Rai gets elite every week. And he skills his way through this game. And it's the most fun gameplay to watch. I wish... I had that ability um, to not have to resort to doing certain mechanics in order to score the goals. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, that first opportunity from the corner didn't quite work there. And then, well, we get the, the Virgil van Dijk header. He's actually scored loads for me this weekend, League. Um, I, for some reason, I guess bringing in Bernardo Silva changed something. It, it didn't put him at the front post or uh, it, it meant that like Aubameyang wasn't in there anymore. So Virgil van Dijk's almost moved to the front post from my corners, which is like a full-on godsend because he's, he's massive. He's got really good jumping and heading accuracy. He literally... The only person that can almost mark Van Dijk out of that situation is another Van Dijk. And not everyone I play has that. So we get three quick, easy wins in... Uh, well, not easy wins, but we get three quick wins to go from 11 to 14 straight away. So we're actually 14 and 2 right now. And my intention this week was to just stop at 14 because, uh, you know, I I've actually quite liked my luck from Gold 3 uh, when since Tots has come out. I got 95 Oblak and 95 PK. Like, I got... I still got very high rated like main league picks even though I'm not guaranteed them. So I was just fully intent on doing that. But then we got to 14 wins and only two losses and I was like you guys are going to you guys are going to flip if I don't carry on from there. And actually I was really enjoying myself not playing FIFA for a little bit meant that I actually kind of had the itch to play FIFA um which I have to admit, not a lot of the time we all have because this game is kind of stressful all the time. Uh, but yeah, like I actually wanted to play. So I thought, you know what, we'll carry on. We'll get up to 17 uh, and that will be what our weekend league is. Hopefully we can, can do that with minimal losses. But normally I understand that at this stage... Like once I get past 14, there's a reason why I stop. One, because I, I don't, I feel like the, the reward when you go slightly higher isn't really worth the effort. And two, uh, because the opponents do tend to get a lot, lot harder. Uh, that it, it ruins my mood, ruins my weekend if I carry on playing and end up taking a whole bunch of L's. So, uh, yeah, in the end here, we go 3-2 up. It is half time. We've been very clinical. We've had all our shots on target. Half of them have ended up in the back of the net. Uh, and, well, we can push on into the second half and try and end this game. This was another tough one. My opponent knew how to score, and I just needed to outscore him. We knock it into Ronaldinho and strike that one past the goalkeeper i think he gets a hand on it but um that's you know it's, it's not enough uh, and then we can uh well i think does he quit here yeah i think he he started getting you know when people get really stressed out and they start like wiping you with the slide tackles and stuff uh he was at that stage in the 65th minute and that's when he decided that he was going to peace out and uh see you later so we get a 4-2 win there bringing us up to uh, 15 wins and only two losses, which is really, really good for me. Uh, I, I've been 14-0 and 0 once, and then it, it all went downhill from there. But then I come up against this guy, and he's got a real stacked team. He's got prime icon moments George Best, as well as two others, you know, Zanetti and Socrates. He's got uh, Ed Militao Tots with Van Dyke, which is very OP, and then a 98-rated red... Hazard, yeah, you got kind of kind of lucky with your red picks, didn't you, mate? Um, you never know with someone like this whether or not they actually finish like elite and got multiple reds, and Hazard was just one of them, uh, or whether they finished gold uh, and just got really lucky with the picks. However, he was good, uh, so I wouldn't even I wouldn't be opposed to say this guy finishes elite. Um, from what from what I played against him here, I was just really struggling. Um, I go 2-0 down quite early on, knock it into Mane, and it falls to Bobby for me now, and I do green time that one, volley that into the back of the net. So at least we get one goal back. And as you can see, I actually had lots of opportunities in this game, but I just couldn't quite make them work. I guess a lot of them were kind of like far out shots because I, I was struggling to break down this guy's defense. That Van Dyke Ede Militao combo, super, super useful, um, and then horrible if you're playing against it. So I know we've got a good defense, uh, and I know we've got the best Van Dyke that we can get. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was. I, I could score later on. I was I was able to get goals, but I was leaking them like no tomorrow, uh, and then even that goes in. Like I was just 
I think Danny DaCosta was going on the world's longest slide, so he couldn't quite get up to try and defend that. And Munier sticks it in, and then Hazard sticks it in. I think once he got a couple of goals in the lead, and he realised he was going to win this match, that's when he busted out the shush. I think I scared him a little bit, managing to keep getting back in the game. But then when he was three goals ahead, he, he decided he would have a little bit of an ego and, uh, and, and hit me with the shush, which is totally fine. I, I get another goal back, but... Uh, that's all she wrote. We end up losing by two goals, five goals to three, and uh, I did go super attacking towards the end to try and get back into it. But uh, yeah, uh, GGs, and we are now 15 and three. Moving on in to what will be the next match then, our opponent, what's, what squad has he got? I can't remember what this one is. Is it a good team? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a real nice squad, and it's actually... The first time I've come up against Lone Neymar. And Lone Neymar, I fear, could be a massive issue going forwards. Because I think a lot of people have got 100 game Lone Neymar. Um, because you could just buy codes on CD keys and, and, and get a player pick with loans in it. And, and like you always choose a, tot, uh, a Tots Neymar. Uh, so loads of people have got him. I hope that they just ban loans going forwards in the weekend league. Because um, I, I find it different. Like... Loan players that you go out and spend 15k for for a loan icon in, a, in an SBC, I'm fine with because it's only 10 games or whatever. And, and like, yeah, it's unfortunate if you match up against one of them because that could, you know, if you end up losing to a loan R9, then you're going to be a little bit annoyed. But you know it's not going to last for, for ages. Whereas going out and spending actual money on, on uh, like, codes which then give you a loan player in game and you can stack that, I don't like that, and I don't think that should be a, a thing. And I think a lot of you would probably say that EA aren't going to ban loans because they haven't done all year. But I just feel like this is maybe a different situation. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a low, a no loan requirement in next weekend's weekend league or going forwards. But uh, I also... You know, it might just be a case of they leave it and uh, we have to put up with all of these people and their loan Neymars. Um, but I think, did I make that guy quit? And then we went into another one and then he, he we drew nil-nil and, and, and his connection went. So that game didn't count. We move on into the next one. Real nice squad again. Look at the reds this guy's got. He got, an, he got a Delic Danel Sharawi in that week. And he's also got a red Militao. So uh, I know I needed to be careful. This guy's got a lot of talent. He could definitely score on me. And it is with a three-star weak foot or a two-star weak foot of El Sharawi uh, that puts him 1-0 up. Uh, even though I had kickoff. So that's not good. We need to push on forward and try and get back in to this one. Firmino back to Bernardo Silva, La Croqueta, finesse shot. Or is that a finesse shot? I don't know. It seems like too much power for a finesse. Uh, and it flies in the back of the net and we get our equalizing goal. Now guys, I haven't asked you to do so yet, but smash a thumbs up on the video if you are enjoying. Uh, I want to know what you got in the weekend league, uh, where you ended up finishing, what what you're hoping for in your awards. And I'm sure I'll see a lot of Neymar and Mbappes in red. That, that, that would be what everyone wants, right? Uh, but yeah, smash a like on the video if you do enjoy it. Thank you so much in advance for that. Um, we turn this game around drastically. Like we, we go from 1-0 down to 3-1 up uh, in the space of like not even one half. So, uh, yeah, feeling confident that we can come away with a win in this one, pushing us up to, what, 16 wins. Nice turn from Bruno Fernandes. La Croqueta passed him, knock it into Quagliarella, and then, I mean, it couldn't be more fortunate that it just falls to Mane like that, and he scores, uh, and we go 4-1 up. Is that Mane's... Hat trick? I can't remember. I don't, I don't know who's been scoring. I was busy talking to you about something else there. Uh, and then this guy, uh, I, I guess we just we just took over. 96 Quagliarella, who I really like, by the way. I think he's a great player. Um, ends up scoring another goal for us there to smash it home and get that 5-1 win. Oh, this guy went super attacking, which is probably why I was able to break him down a little bit more in the latter stages. So that takes us up to the 17 wins that I wanted. So I originally wanted 14 wins. We've gone past that gone into 17 wins and we did that was only 17 and three only three losses and actually we've managed to win 18 times this weekend but one of them just didn't count uh so yeah we're doing really well and at this point i was still like you know what i've not lost enough i need to carry on playing so i know we've done a few episodes on the weekend league but tomorrow's episode will also be me carrying on pushing towards gold one and elite if that can happen 
I'll be very, very surprised. Um, but yeah, like it was just a case of I was enjoying myself playing. I love Mane. I love Ronaldinho. Goretzka and Danny Da Costa are just like life-changingly good on this game. Quagliarella is a really fun substitute. Bruno Fernandes is a good sub. I'm feeling my squad right now is really, really on point. So we definitely need to play some more. And that is what I will do for you in tomorrow's episode. Guys, do me a massive favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Insta. Those links are down below. Most importantly, I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.